Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. I'm from thecharmingdetroiter.com and today I am sharing all of my must-have items for flying with a toddler. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I run a lifestyle blog over at thecharmingdetroiter.com where I talk about all things food, style, travel, decor, uh, DIY projects, babies and toddlers. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, be sure to hit the big red subscribe button below so that you don't miss any of my videos. I hope you guys were able to check out my last video about our trip to Park City. We went to Park City, Utah for a family ski trip in February and it was a blast. I will link that above here. And today Today I am sharing another travel related video all about what I pack for the flights that we take with our daughter Sophie. So our daughter Sophie is almost 18 months old and flying when she was like an infant was much easier. It doesn't sound like it would be, but it was much easier than it is these days I would say. We have been on several trips recently and she is a handful, let me tell you. So I have kind of developed a list of packing things that I take every time we go on the flight. And it generally has helped to kind of minimize any temper tantrums and um, keep her happy and preoccupied and not distracting and annoying to like other people on the flight, which is excellent. So I thought today that I would run through those things with you guys and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing obviously is a good diaper bag. So this is our diaper bag that we take uh, when we are traveling. Um, it's a lot bigger than our like at home diaper bag that we just take like running errands and such on a daily basis. I think it's important to have a good sized travel bag. So like you want one that's big enough to hold all of your stuff, but not too big that it won't fit like underneath the seat in front of you. So this one actually fits perfectly in front of the seat in front of us. So it's a really good size. The other thing I find really important in a diaper bag, which I love about this diaper bag, is that it has like a lot of pockets. So it has two larger section pockets and it does come with like a changing head. So it comes with two larger sized pockets, first of all, which is really important because the two main things that you're taking with you are diaper changing stuff and food stuff. So this allows me to like keep those like larger amount of items for all the diapers in here, separate from all the food stuff up here. I also think it's really great to have like a lot of different pockets. Um, and these ones are easy to see because they're a lot of them are mesh actually. And that can really be helpful because if you know where something is, you can put it back in the same place every time like I tend to do, um, you know where everything is in your diaper bag really easily. This one is really accessible in terms of like getting to all the pockets easily, which is nice. The other thing that I really like about this diaper bag in particular is the front pocket. So this front pocket actually contains little like pouches here for putting like cold beverages in or warm beverages as opposed to but they are insulated pockets so we usually will pick up like a milk from the delta lounge or from the airport before we leave and just shove it in here and uh you're good to go all right so the second really 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 important thing to take on a flight with you with a toddler or any you know baby or an infant of any age i would say until they are more potty trained is a wet dry bag so everyone always says you know bring an extra change of clothes and definitely i would agree with that bring an extra change of clothes for baby or for toddler but this is like another huge essential i would say so this is just like basically cloth bag the inside is kind of like lined with this material zips up super simple but what happens is if she like pees or spills something on herself and we need to change her outfit we can throw her wet clothes in here and then you're not getting like wet clothes over everything else in your diaper bag so this is like a must-have i always 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 have one of these with me i actually put one in our regular diaper bag as well okay third but definitely not least because this should be number one always snacks so our daughter loves to snack like any toddler I am sure and I would say that a flight is the perfect opportunity to use every tool in your arsenal to make sure she stays preoccupied so we usually bring a few different snacks on the plane I will also bring some of these like food pouches because I find that that's a good kind of substitute for a meal sometimes if it's going to be her meal time I'll bring like one or two of these pouches a couple snacks some fruit um, and that way she'll be able to eat like her meal while we're on the plane so these are some of her favorites right now she loves these little jammy sammies from plum organics from target and then some of these dried fruits which are really fun the other snack related item that i would highly recommend on the plane is a snack cup so this one is perfect i bought it specifically for traveling and like being in the car and on airplanes and such so it has a lid first of all so it is like a retractable snack cup basically so it kind of like pops closed and then it just like pops right open it's silicone based so it can go in the dishwasher um i think you can probably microwave it too if you really needed to but and then the snacks kind of go in here and i really like this one because first of all it has a handle so she can hold on to it really easily and then second of all it has these little like lips so it's easy to get the snack in there you just kind of fold them down or fold them out um but it's 
harder for things to like fall out and like crumbs to get everywhere. So I think this is a really like essential item for being on the flight um, and it helps to keep things less messy. Okay, so next up is other headphones. So you would not go on a flight without your own headphones. And this is a great way to make sure that they can stay preoccupied too. We try not to let Sophie watch too much television, although she does love Moana, but the flight is, you know, one exception. I do not care how much TV she watches on the flight as long as she's not screaming. So we used to like put our own headphones on her and they're just too large and heavy and such. And so these ones are great because they're like a lightweight option. They fit her head really nice. They're comfortable. And these were really affordable. I think they were like 20 or $25 maybe. So perfect for the flight. And these would also be really great if you're like trying traveling in the car and um, don't feel like watching Frozen for the 50th time. The next thing that I definitely make sure that I pack on the flight is like a small selection of toys. So the first thing I'll do is I'll actually like take a couple of her like smaller books or um, smaller toys that she really likes and I'll like hide them away a couple weeks in advance before the flight. Then when we bring them out on the flight, it's like very exciting for her. So we do pack like a few small like books. Um, these ones are great because they're like hard, like cardboard covered books. And so they are not gonna get easily damaged and they're really small so they fit well in the bag. I bring other little toys like this little dimple. She absolutely loves this and I will tell you, it will preoccupy her for like a long time. So this is a really great investment. I will also bring like a little wubba. Sophie's not like super into the pacifier, but if your baby is, obviously bring some. We usually just bring one because it's not like a super big um, thing that she's into, but for babies that are into pacifiers, using that on takeoff and landing can be really helpful for ear pressure. I've also been bringing this like interactive um, music sound book that we picked up on Amazon and we actually also got gifted one for Christmas so she has like the same book twice in our house. She absolutely loves this book and it preoccupies her a lot so it has like different pages of like sounds and you can like press and listen to the different sounds. It has English, it has Spanish so it's like pretty versatile and has like a lot of different features that are very entertaining to her and it's a good learning tool so we usually bring this on the plane and the other nice thing is that it has volume settings so we can put it on the lower volume and it's really not too loud when you take into account like the background noise in the plane. Next up is a new thing that we actually got for Christmas recently and Sophie just started playing with these. So this is like another toy I guess technically but I would not go anywhere on a plane without these now because they're a very easy way to have her be able to do like art projects basically but not messy. So these are the water wow pads. So they have a few different ones. We have um, this farm one and then we have like another animal one. So basically what it is is there's this little pen. You basically unscrew this cap and then you like fill it with water and I just squirted it everywhere. That's fine. And then you kind of shake it and the water will come out like the tip and then when you draw on here with the water it will like reveal little like animals or whatever's in the barn you know <laughs> but this is like really entertaining to her she loves doing this at home but like this is the perfect thing to bring on a flight because it's just water if it spills overall i think this is a great thing to bring on the plane and like i said there's a few different kinds of um, drawings all right the next thing i don't go on a flight without <laughs> is wipes. There's like hardly any left in here because I use them on the flight. So obviously diaper wipes is like big, but we always bring like these sanitizing wipes also. Even like pre-COVID wipe down everything on the plane because toddlers will literally put everything in their mouth as you other parents I'm sure know. So we bring these and then um, I actually also have like a more gentle hand wipe for like if she does not want to wash her hands and like we don't want to go to the restroom on the airplane um, we'll just use like a hand wipe for her hands. So next up I always bring a water cup and I make sure that I fill it so you can actually go through TSA um, through like the security checkpoint with water as long as it's, you're claiming it's like for your infant or your toddler. So I'll usually just fill it up and bring it with us. Or you can always like, if you don't want to deal with the hassle, um, pour it out and then refill it in the lounge or at like a restaurant or something before you get on the flight. And the reason is, first of all, my daughter loves water, which is great. <laughs> I love that she loves water. Drinking something can actually help on ascent and descent for in the plane with the ear pressure. And so I like to try and give her a water cup right when we're kind of ascending into the air. I like this cup because it has like a little little lid that kind of pops up and then the straw just pops up. It's like a silicone straw and it's easy for her, like regardless of the um, direction she's using the cup, this little weight helps make sure that she's getting water from it from the bottom of the cup. And I recommend bringing your own water on the airplane. If you have it all ready and set to go, then you can just bring it out and give it to her whenever you guys are taking off. And then the last thing that I would highly recommend is if your toddler is still drinking milk to bring your milk on the plane. There is like no guarantee, especially these days, that there will be milk on the plane. And so I always grab like a carton of milk from the Delta lounge before we get onto the flight. But if you're not like a lounge member or anything like that, you can always just go to like a Starbucks or one of the coffee shops and they can usually be able to sell you like a small thing of milk. So we usually do that and then I put it in the insulated pocket in the diaper bag and just 
go onto the plane so she's all ready for her milk. As a bonus tip, I just realized when I was putting this video together that this is another really great thing to take on vacation, especially if you're gonna have a stroller. This is like a giant carabiner, basically. Um, and so we actually will like clip this onto our diaper bag like this, and then it clips right onto the stroller as well, which is super convenient. So, you know, you're never gonna lose your diaper bag. All right, so that is going to do it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope that these help some of the other parents out there with what to pack and how to like preoccupy your toddler on a flight. And I hope you guys enjoy your travels and have safe travels. I will see you guys next time. Bye friends.